so I'm over here at the Spark Makerspace, and the uh, 3D printer just finished printing, and now it's retracting the build plate into that blade over there, and it's going to drop it into this box of other things it's been 3D printing. So, I'm just going to wait for it. And there we are. So we just had this item finish up, which is pretty cool. So down here on the bottom, it has a disposable, um, it has a raft, which you just peel off, just like that. There we are. So that right there is a disposable bit of plastic that gets discarded. And right there, that's my nice little 3D printed item. Yep. Ah. So this is, this is all happening off the web-based print queue. So if I come over here, oh, you can see a whole bunch of other little prints that came off of the other 3D printer design. And now it's closing back up. Um, you can see the door is closing back up there. So they can print the next item on top. It's pretty loud. Yep, there we are. So it's going to start printing the next item. So I'm going to go and I'm going to actually upload a new file. So I'm on the... Uh, if I go to the website here, this website is managing the whole print queue. And if I upload a new file, uh, let me go to my 3D printed items, my 3D printed 3D objects. No, I don't have any. Let's see. I guess I can go to my downloads. So what I can do is I can select whether or not I want to have support material and I can pick my infill and then hit submit and it goes into the queue. Yep, so there's a tiny little cube. Okay, I'm going to try a different file here but I'm going to approve this one anyway because I don't mind it printing that. Choose another file. Uh, let's see. Let's try this. Let's try this. Let's see how this looks. Well, that's a tiny little thing, but why not? Let's print it. So there's a little preview of what it's going to look like when it's printed. And I'm going to just go and hit approve here. So now that's in the queue and it's waiting to print. So this one right here says it's printing. And we're probably just waiting for the machine to heat up. So if we look over here, we can see the temperature. It's almost at 205. It's going to start printing when it hits 205. At least it should. There we are. Let's see whether we can get it to refocus. There we are. And look at that. Nice shiny little window into the, the bottom of the box. Or into the box. Up oh, here it is. It's starting to print. Oh, this is going to be a tiny little cube. Really tiny. So actually you can get you can get to see the whole print job here. And actually, if I look at it from underneath, this here is an interesting perspective. There we are. That's a really interesting little perspective of it. Looking at the printer from the bottom. Here we are. 
Hello. Mike, this is Karen. Karen. Hello, Karen. Nice to meet you, too. So, it should be finishing up printing here shortly. Um, if I look from over here, let's see, can we see the object? Yeah, we can see the object. So this is a tiny little cube, and it's just about finished. So as soon as it finishes, it's going to automatically eject it from the printer and start up the next print. So that's really cool about this machine. Yep, here we are. So it's finishing up. You can see the little 3D printed object right there. And I'm just going to kind of pan out here a little bit. And we're going to see it go and scrape that off. So this right here, this uh, it's a half inch piece of, of uh, polycarb or Lexan or whatever. And see right there, we have a blade on that end, which just popped it off. And what's going to happen is it's going to fall into this box when it's done. There we are. So that'll come off of there as soon as uh, as soon as this thing starts moving. There we are. Yeah. Sometimes you get these little strings. And that's okay. It's still hanging there, but as soon as the door closes, it's going to fall through. Yeah. So this is all the little things I've been printing. Got a whole bunch of little uh, <clears throat> Pikachu kind of things. You know, they got a little hair on them. I got to tune this up a little bit for the printer, but that's a little 3D printed Pikachu. Yep. Here we are. So this is closing again. There we are. And... Oh, the thing is still hanging there. That'll come off the next print. You can see that it cut the, the string here. Um, but yeah, it's going to start up printing the next thing, and that's pretty cool.